after my track workout. Um, I did it all wrong, you know? I am extremely sore. I cannot move with my calves hurting this bad. Also, my knee hurts pretty bad. Today's video is gonna be all about recovery after a hard workout. So this morning, we're gonna, you know, hit the gym, Fortis right here. Not the best sign. Not the best sign, but don't do this or you'll get kicked out. Just kidding. You won't get kicked out. <laughs> so, today we're working out at Fortis, and then we might go for a run later. We'll see how the legs are feeling. Hopefully that they're feeling good. Right, Chris Chavez? Anyways, all right. So recovery is very important, and that has to do with rolling out and sleeping and eating and water intake. So we're gonna be doing all of the above today to get back into tip-top shape. All right, let's get it. Oh, my knee. is currently working out but we're gonna go look at the sunrise. Welcome to Southern California. What is uh, your advice to everyone? Hey right. okay, everyone. All right, there are a couple different things here. One, don't do a track workout and uh, after you're about doing it and lace up the spikes while doing it. Number two, foam roll every day. I'm like me and now I'm in pain and my knee hurts really bad because I don't do it often enough. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we are, we just went grocery shopping. I didn't get very much. All I got was sweet potatoes, avocados, Greek yogurt, and chicken. And I got this delicious beverage. It's Bragg's apple cider vinegar, Concord grape acai drink. It's very like vinegary. Duh. Kind of good though, I kind of like it. It burns my throat though. Anyways, so all I've had today is coffee with almond milk in the morning before my workout, and now I'm actually in line at Starbucks waiting to get my nitro cold brew. I have not eaten anything today, and I'm kind of hungry now. Not the best to just rely on coffee in the morning, but that's what I did this morning. Okay, here we've got my breakfast, which is just overnight oats. I'll put the recipe on the screen with some banana, coconut, chia seeds, and almond butter. 
I also put this on my food Instagram at One Craze Foodie. If you guys want meal ideas, I post a lot on there, so check it out. So this meal has a lot of good like proteins in it because I put protein powder in it and Greek yogurt and also healthy fats and carbohydrates from the oats. So it's a very well-rounded meal and one of my favorites these days. So I switch up the flavor of the recipe by changing the protein powder flavor and I've been into it lately. Though it is a uh, cold oatmeal so if you live somewhere cold you might be cold eating it. But I live in San Diego so it's hot. Also, drinking my coffee, which is a nitro cold brew with cream. They put too much cream in it though, so it's like white. Oh well. We switched the iPhone vlog now because we're about to go running! Woo, woo, woo! And we're here at Moonlight Beach, my OG place to run at. And I know you guys would all be so excited because I'm not drinking from my healthy human life anymore. I'm drinking from my Neptune bottle. Shout out to Ryan Trahan. This was his little um, Kickstarter one, so. Yeah, so you're welcome everyone. I'm updating my water bottle. Okay, we're gonna go for a nice easy four, and I'm on, I'm wearing actually, usually I'm pretty peg loyal, but today I'm wearing my Hoka Outdoor Voices Clifton fours because my knee still hurts, and also my calves are wrecked, so. Again, do not recommend lacing up the spikes and wearing them if you haven't worn them in literally one year. So, it's a terrible idea, but I gotta do it for the content for the fellas. I really should be going on a trail today because my calves hurt so bad, but honestly, I just wanted to run on the beach and not run on hills, so. Okay, the waves here are, you can't even tell, but they're very big today and I'm a little confused because they're always puny here. Well, I'm not surfing, so it's not like it matters. I'm not even running on the beach. Steven! <laughs> Look who it is again! <laughs> can't get enough of you, you Steven! You guys can't get away. I think Emma's following me, guys. Yeah, I am. I'm actually stalking Steven. Yeah. Steven, everyone thinks that we should get married. How do you feel about Let's that? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> we out here running. Best run on the West Coast. There's literally one million cars staring at me. Oops, I almost ripped my earphones out. A million cars staring at me. I don't even care. Because I'm getting after it. And they can make fun of me all they want. <laughs> Finishing up. Four miles. 759. Okay, not gonna lie, that felt absolutely horrific. Uh, I was literally like just counting down the minutes on that four mile run. My calves hurt so bad. And these hokas are like good for my knees, but then they also like, they're so cushiony to the point where I like feel like I'm just stepping on clouds. So I have no like bounce up. So it kind of makes it a little harder, but it's good for my knees. So it's not like I cared about the pace today. Really just getting out there, loosening up the legs. I'm gonna go home now, roll, unfortunately again and do a little bit of stretching, but there's no stretching around here. It's like all pavement, so. Okay. Ugh. We've got a delicious lunch. My cousin thinks it's disgusting yeah. over there. Smoothie all the way. We've got some crock pot butternut squash with raisins, avocado for them, healthy fats, Brussels sprouts. My dog really wants to go out. Some roasted Brussels sprouts, and some chicken, and some ketchup! Yum! Another important part of recovery is getting enough rest. And your girl didn't sleep very much last night, I'm not gonna lie. I had to wake up early this morning, so I took a shower. Now I'm gonna take a little nappy. I'm just gonna take about an hour nap in between the work that I've been doing. Because my muscles hurt and I want them to recover. I also drank 32 ounces of water just now. For the time being, good night. Picked up this one from the airport. And for dinner tonight, I'm having some Chipotle tacos. Sarah's laughing at me. Oh, and Anders, Anders got a Jersey Mike sub. It's about 10 p.m. now, and I am really don't want to do this, but I know that I'm gonna feel so much better tomorrow morning if I do. I'm going to make myself foam roll again. If you guys are ever feeling sore or anything, honestly, no. If, if you just finish a workout, please foam roll and please stretch. It's the number one thing that will keep you healthy, and it's the one thing that I really, actually, I don't do a lot of things that I could be doing, but 
it's one of the main things that I don't do enough that has actually caused me injuries in the past. So I'm in a lot of pain right now. Um, my calves still hurt really bad. My knee hurts and I need to do this before I go to bed. So here we go. I'm using this foam roller. I honestly don't even know what it is. I don't, I don't really like these ones with the pokey pokies on the outside because they kind of give me bruises. I bruise very easily. Yeah, but this is the only one I have. I'm also at my parents' house and that's why my room is kind of a mess and the lighting is literally yellow, so. Okay, I just did about 10 minutes of foam rolling. That's about my max, honestly. I'm not the best foam roller as we know. I've said a million times, but now it's time for bed. Another training session in the morning and a six mile run, so. We're on that grind, fellas. We are really on that grind. I hope you are all enjoying your holiday season so far. We've got some good content coming over the next month, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately. I've been a lot more inspired to make videos again, so I hope you guys are liking that. And if you do, like the video, because it really does mean a lot to me that I get your guys' support. This is basically what I do on days that I'm pretty sore. Like, I just be very conscious of my water intake, the foods I'm eating, and the sleep I get, and also foam rolling and stretching and stuff. All of the above, just really taking to the count. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just taking better steps than you would if you're a little less sore, you know? So, crossing my fingers that I wake up and I'm a little less sore tomorrow because I literally, like, I'm limping when I walk. That's about my calves hurt. I guess we'll see in the morning. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, fellas.